Hi guys, I do hope you're all keeping well. Uh, something a little bit special for you today. We have a barn find. So I picked this up um, during lockdown. Uh, someone had it in their loft, having a bit of a clean out, and came across this and I was lucky enough to pick it up. This is a Western Arms Para Ordnance. So this is a gun that's quite hard to obtain nowadays. Um, they don't, uh, especially in the UK, uh, very very hard to get. So in the box we have a new, or well, barely used, uh, magazine. Uh, this is the uh, the tool for the end here. Won't be needing that. And obviously the actual uh, the actual power ordnance itself. So as you can see, it's got the um, it's got the correct markings on this side. Um, the uh, focus there you can see the markings on the barrel which are really really nice this is the, uh, the model with the combat hammer it's got um, ambidextrous uh, safety which can obviously only be engaged when the uh, when the gun has been cocked so it does come with an additional additional magazine here uh, with uh, I believe these are metal lips Certainly look like it. So, I found there isn't anything in here at all, and you can see the light coming through the uh, through the chamber. So this is all plastic. Um, this particular gun. Um, it does have the uh, beaver tail stick grip as well, which um, which does function. So if I pull the trigger there, without holding this down, it will not fire. Now it will, and you can see the actual trigger pull on this is um, is quite nice. A little bit of take up, a couple of pounds. Very very light, very nice. Um, for a gun as old as this, Western Arms are only really supposed to be used on on one for four, uh, so that is what I tend to use them on. Or I found that zero one green gas seems to run at a bit of a lower power, so I do tend to uh, I do tend to run that sometimes. So let's just see what the blowback performance is like. Um, obviously, I will hold down the uh, slide catch, and you can see. So that's the uh, sight picture, which is, um, I guess, not not too bad. And there's some nice uh, branding on the grips there, and as you probably saw on the bottom of the magazine where the fill valve is. So that's been a that's been my Western Arms Para Ordnance uh, barn find and what a find it was. Uh, if you've got any questions uh, let me know in the comments down below and until next time take care.